Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITians. Hello friends, today this is a very important revision class for your upcoming CSI and NET physical science exam and the topic is thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. In this video lecture, we shall previous, uh, solve the previous year paper, 2019 December paper. Okay, so let's start the video. The first question is in a system comprising of approximately 10 to the power 23 di distinguishable particles. Each particle may occupy any of 20 distinct states. The maximum value of the entropy per particle is nearest to 20 kb, 3 kb, 10 into ln 2 kb, 20 into ln 2 kb. So what is the answer? So first of all, I have made several statistical mechanics videos and all the concepts have been covered there. So please watch those videos. The play link has been shared in our description box. So the question that the 10 to the power 23 distinguishable particles. OK, so these are distinguishable particles. So suppose they are in particles. So number of microstates is uh, the number of part, uh, 20 to the power n. OK, because there are a number of states are 20. So GI to the power NI, where GI is the number of states and NI is the number of particle. So here the number of states are 20. So 20 to the power N is the for the N number of particles. Now S, that is the entropy, can be written as KB ln omega. That is from the Shannon definition of entropy. So we can write that KB ln 20 to the power N or we can write N KB ln 20. So S by N, that is the entropy per particle is KB ln 20. So we can write it as 3 KB, okay? As ln 20 goes to nearly goes to 3. So this answer is option B. So friends, here, the this case, they have asked you the classical particle. And I think that you already know that if they are quantum particles, if they are suppose the Maxwell uh, uh, bosons, suppose there are fermions, what will be the maximum value of entropy per particle for this case? And you should know that, okay? And also there will be the number of the de uh, uh, degenerate states you have to consider for the quantum mechanics case. The next question is from very uh, easy question, and this is for very important concept that is considered as classical gas in thermal equilibrium at temperature T1 and T2, where T1 is less than T2. Which of the following graphs correctly represent the qualitative behavior of the probability density function of the X component of velocity. So this is the Maxwell velocity distribution. OK, Maxwell Boltzmann velocity distribution curve. And you all should know what is the uh, nature of this Maxwell velocity distribution curve. OK, suppose this, the number of molecules are plotted along this direction. So this is the distribution and this is the speed. So velocity distribution, so number of molecules versus the speed. So with the temperature, the variation is like this way. So it will be spreaded where the area under the curve stays the same. So the temperature increases means the energy density is increasing. So greater, greater fraction with energy enough to react. So friends, the answer for this question is the answer C. Now f of x, that f of vx, if we plot, write the Maxwell velocity distribution, uh, then we can formula, then we can write it as m by 2 pi kt whole to the power half e to the power minus mv square by 2 kt where vx lies from minus infinite to plus infinite. So average of vx should be zero and whole vx square uh, average is kt by m. So RMS of V so or vx RMS is root kt by m. So the mean value is remains the same and the RMS shift towards the right, which I have already shown. So the left or the left hands on, uh, towards the right or the left, hence area under the curve is the same and the distribution become broad. So the temperature is increasing means the distribution is becoming broad. So what is the answer? The answer is C. Okay. Suppose there are another kind of question that the find out the graph or the distribution for the most probable velocity, average speed, and the RMS square speed that is VRMS, a VP, or V average, then these are the this is the curve. This is VP, this is the most probable speed, this is average speed, this is RMS speed, and this is just for you to remember. 
Okay, so friends, you can join our test series if you want to solve this kind of question so that you can easily solve at the time of your exam. The full length test, subject wise tests are already activated with a minimum cost. So these are the payment and registration link, and I suggest you to you can go there. You can have a test free in our portal. The registration link is available here, and you will get the solution after your test, the free test. Okay. So the another question in the NET 2019 December paper, this is very easy question. The equation of state of an ideal gas is PV equals to RT. At very low temperature, the volume e expansion coefficient that is 1 by V del V by del T at constant pressure diverges as 1 by T square, diverges as 1 by T, vanishes as T, is independent of the temperature. So suppose they are not given you the volume expansion coefficient expression 1 by V del V del T, but they can all only they mention that term that is volume expansion coefficient. So you should know that volume expansion coefficient expression is 1 by V del V by del T or it can be written as alpha. OK, so given equation of state is PV by RT, PV equals to RT. So V can be written as RT by P. So alpha equals to 1 by V dV by dt. So that can be written as 1 by V into R by P as dV by dt is R by P. So alpha is R by RT or 1 by T. Now as T tends to 0, alpha becomes infinite. So B that is alpha will diverge as 1 by T. Okay. Next question. This is a very important question and this kind of question that may be repeated and this lambda x to the power 4 term can be modified as x cube x square or x. OK, so be prepared this for this kind of question. The Hamiltonian of a classical nonlinear one dimensional oscillator h equals to half 1 by twice mp square plus lambda x to the power 4 where lambda is greater is zero and is a constant. The specific heat of collection of n independent such oscillator is 3 by 2 nkbt, nkb, 3 by 4 nkb, nkb, half nkb. So first of all, the Hamiltonian has been given. You have to find out the average of Hamiltonian that will give you the internal energy or u and then you have to take del u by del t at constant v to get the specific heat. OK, so how do you find it out? So H average is P square by twice M average plus V average. Now P square by twice M average will give you half KBT since this is from equipartition theorem. That is this is a quadratic term and it will give the value half KBT. OK, so th since this one dimensional harmonic oscillator, we are considering half KBT. But if it is not mentioned at one dimensional, you should take it as three dimension. OK, uh, if there was no option of three dimension, then only you can take one dimension if in this question not mentioned. So since it is mentioned here, so we take half KBT plus V average. So average of any quantity, how do you find? We have to take the average of any statistical mechanical quantity that is two lambda here. Look here, V has been given as lambda X to the power four and this is H. So we have to take that lambda into X to the power four into the uh, H divided by this H, right? Actually, we take the normalized average quantity for any FX quantity. So we have to take like, like this way. So we have to take two lambda into integration zero to infinite X to the power four e to the power minus beta lambda X to the power four DX divided by two into integration over zero to infinite e to the power minus beta X to the power four into DX. So let me write the uh, <coughs> suppose you have a uh, want to take a quantity if and which is a function of x and the distribution is u. So how do you take the average? That is you take this f which is a function of x. Suppose I am taking it, writing it as x and then the distribution u which is function of x and x let us take it is also function of x into dx. This, this is taken some time and divided by integration of u of x into dx. So this way you can write the average quantity. So here they like this way it has been written. So now how do you find out this integration? So this is zero to infinite x to the power four e to the power minus beta lambda x to the power four dx. This is nothing but the lambda Laplace transform, right? So Laplace transform of t to the power n. So what is the answer? That is 
to the power n equals to gamma p plus 1 by s to the power n plus 1. So here t to the power n is x to the power 4 and gamma p plus uh, n plus 1 means gamma uh, 5 by 4 divided by 4 into lambda beta to the power 5 by 4. Okay. So just this one, this formula you have to put the lambda formula and you find it out, solve it, you will get as 3 by 4 kBT. So this way you can find the solution. I would suggest you to remember this Laplace transform formula for t to the power n root t sin a t, t sin a t, cos t, sin hyperbolic, exponential into uh, exponential function into sin, exponential function into cosine, okay, t to the power n into cosine. So Dirac delta function you should also uh, remember. So in the next video, I shall also discuss some more problems regarding the previous year statistical mechanics paper. So thank you uh, for watching this video. You can analyze your preparation through this timer based online test series with detailed solutions and question solving tricks. The payment links and registration link has been given here with a minimum cost. You can evaluate performance. You can join our telegram channel for regular quizzes and research updates. Thank you.